Hello everybody, it's Miss Keith today with your video and I'm going to be talking to you guys about decomposing and composing fractions. So we've already learned about how to find sums of fractions with the same denominators and today we're going to be learning how to rewrite a fraction as a sum in a variety of ways. So variety meaning in a couple of different ways. So we're going to be looking at some different ways to write a number. So I'm first going to start with 8. Let's say we have the number 8. There it is. Let's say um, I want to know what are a couple ways we can come up with the sum of 8. So think about that for a minute. What are some things, numbers we can add together to come up with the sum of 8? Okay, so here are some ways that I came up with the sum of 8, and hopefully some of these are the same ways that you were thinking of in your head. 4 plus 4, 2 plus 6, and the cool thing is we don't have to stick with two add-ins. We can add in more, like 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3, or 2 plus 2 plus 4. So those are all ways that we can find the number 8, or find the sum for 8. So now today we're going to say, um, how can we use that for fractions and decomposing fractions? Okay, so today we're going to pose this situation. Let's say Billy had seven eighths of a pound of oatmeal and he wanted to put it into three different bowls. But he didn't care if each bowl had the same amount. It did not matter. So that we don't have to have each amount the same amount, but we want to split that seven eighths into three different bowls. Okay, so here's our three bowls, and then down here, I go ahead, I went ahead and wrote down the number sentence. So we have seven eighths equals, and then we're going to put a fraction here plus here plus this fraction, okay? So all of these three fractions together need to equal eight. What do we know the denominator should be? That's right, the denominator is going to be eight for each of them because we know we keep the denominator same as we add our fractions. Okay, so now that our denominators are 8, we're going to be looking how can we split 7 up into 3 different fractions. Now this can be done a, a lot of different ways, so what's one way that you would like to try? Okay, so let's say we have 2 here, and then let's say we do 2 again. And the last one would then have to be what? Three. Because we know the denominator stays the same and two plus two plus three equals seven. I mean that is easy as a piece of cake. I'm loving it. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about other ways you can do it. So think of another way you could have split it up into three fractions and write it down. Okay, so that was almost too easy, right? Well, now we're going to go ahead and start looking at mixed numbers and talk about how we could decompose those. Now, those are going to be exactly like the um, fraction that we just did when we decompose, but it's going to look a little bit different because we see a mixed number instead of a regular fraction. So what do you think is going to be the easiest way to decompose this fraction? I'm with you. I think the easiest way is going to be changing this to an improper fraction. So first what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 4 times 1, which is 4, and then add the 3, which is 7. So that means we're going to be looking at decomposing the improper fraction 7 fourths because our denominator stays the same. Alright, so now it's simple because it's exactly like what we did earlier. We're looking to find fractions that add up to equal 7 fourths. So you could do three fractions, you could do two fractions, anything you want. Let's say let's go ahead and do three. And then we're going to be adding these together. And what is our denominator going to be? Four, right? Because we're going to keep it the same. So now I have to think what three numbers do I want to use to add up to equal seven. So let's say this time I want one, then maybe if, let's do um, three. So one plus three is four. How much do I need? Three more. Threes are hard to write on the smart board. Okay, so then we have one plus three plus three, which is seven. And so seven fourths would be our answer, which is the mixed number. They are the same as one and three fourths. So we got our answer. All right, now I'd like for you to try one. 
Okay, I would like to see if you can try to decompose 3 and 1 fourth. So I went through a couple of steps on the last one to get to an improper fraction, and then from there I figured out what numbers I could add up to equal the numerator of that improper fraction. If you need to rewind and rewatch what I did on the last one, feel free to do so. So today's homework on Edmodo, I want you to go ahead and answer the question, how could you decompose 3 and 1 fourth? You can split it up into as many fractions as you want. Good luck, and we will talk about it tomorrow.